Hey guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family and we continue the Easter week vlogs. So today is Wednesday. Uh, the main theme of today's video is something that's been needing to happen for such a long time. And what is that, Noah? My haircut. So I've gone to I've gone to Noah quite a few times over the last month or so or two months. It's, uh, I can't even remember. When did you last have your haircut? Was it me? Did I do it last? No. Oh, was it? Was it Kazim down at uh, Lossy Barbers? Mm -hmm. So Noah obviously got his haircut at Lossy Barbers uh, before the next lockdown happened. Then the next lockdown happened and we thought, well, hopefully it'll only be a month or so. Months and months and months later, he would not let me cut his hair. So um, we, it's just grown absolutely nuts. He wants to have uh, the Peaky Blinder cut, which is that, you know, Bit that comes down the front of their face and all that kind of stuff which is fine because it's nice to have a hairstyle daddy doesn't have a hairstyle anymore do i no nope. because um unfortunately my hairstyle kind of receded my hair starts back here somewhere now so i just give it the old buzz cut but um come and have a look at this one come here come here come here come here look look at this oh Oh look! We're playing Minecraft. Oh, it's like a lion's mane. Daddy, we're playing Minecraft. I know you're playing Minecraft. Have a look at it. It's, it's like a lion's mane, but it's gonna have to go, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. it's just a bit. It's just a wee bit crazy. Yeah, it's like a lion's mane. Look, look at it. It's so beautiful. I'm so jealous. Look. look. So jealous. Daddy, you would be jealous of my hair. Oh, I, I would be jealous of your hair, but I don't think I'd last long in the military with hair like yours. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, uh, somebody might say something. Imagine Daddy like, having my hair. I know, they might say, look, I know it's uh, I know it's lockdown, Ben, but, you know, should we get your hair cut? Okay, extreme close-up time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, don't put your cheesy socks in his face. Oh, I've got to kiss that face. <laughs> So anyway, okay, okay, be sensible now. Sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up. I've sit got a up. golden pickaxe. Sit up and be sensible for five minutes. Daddy, I've got a golden pickaxe. I don't even know what that is. I've got, I've got a pickaxe in the shed. So, um, I what, are, what are you playing? Minecraft. Minecraft. My one's the top oh, yeah. screen. Okay, First cool. One. Very good. I love it. They, they. Um... So I don't know if you've noticed at home, but I'm in uh, Eva's room, which is obviously where Agnes and the twins. Look at my Harry Potter wall. Sleep as well. Oh, what, what are we looking at now? I'm fantastic. Oh game. my goodness! I didn't even know that was up there. I knew you did some Harry Potter pictures. Wow, that's pretty cool. How have I not noticed that? Is it because it's always dark when I'm putting the candles to bed? Look, they—they they very good. On the game, they only get iron. Look at my chest. I get gold. I look found at my chest. gold. Che um, Which is your chest? I've got um, look, that look one. At my I've got screen. I've got lapis. I like um over a stack of iron. I've got emeralds. I've got gold. I've got redstone. I've got diamonds. I've got all the st good stuff. I've got lapis as okay. well. I've got lapis. I'm going to take it that that's cool and that's, that's good. Cool. Yeah? Yeah, and I've got and full enchanted. Really good. No, um, I've got four. Let's see if I get a chick. I've got four eggs. Okay. Okay. I'll okay. make another enchantment box thing. Right. Stop going about Minecraft now. So, um, oi, mind your feet out the way as well. Mind your feet out of the way. No. So, how are you feeling about going down for a haircut then? It's, <laughs> about, it's about time, isn't it? Yeah. It's about time, isn't it? Yeah. Like, fortunately, Kazim is open again now, so um, we can go down there. I messaged him and he said it's fine to come down today. So we're going to go down at about one o'clock, yeah, and finally get rid of oh, that, that mop no. on your head. It's Eva's mop. Eva's looks nice. Yeah, my one looks nice. Yeah, my one looks nice. You've got a mop. A girl's supposed to have long hair. No, boys can have long hair too. I know. You've it's got just, a mop. Um, You've it's just now it's just growing a bit crazy, that's all. I've seen my hair. You've got a mop. Yeah, well, Since your hair will be next. It's and a lion's mane. It's the lion's mane. Hi, Isabel. Hi. How you doing, all right? Yeah. How's you your foot? Your off you take your boot off. Oh, uh, monkey foot. Spooky <laughs> leg. It's nice to see you uh, out of your cast, by the way. And it's nice to see you in your boot. Um, me and Mummy are very happy about that. Now we just have to see how your foot, foot don't mates, don't we? put the boot eh? back. Good stuff. You are right, so um, we are going to go to Kazim to the Lossy Barbers in an hour. Uh, at about one o'clock. All right. So am I in about 
Four hours. Four hours. I'm a baby. Yeah, yeah, what time is it now, by the way, anyway? What time is it now? Uh, the time is, I'll tell you, it's 9.58. 9.58, okay. It's right. 10 o'clock. So while I'm upstairs, I just thought I'd have a catch up with Isabel. I didn't really speak to you yesterday about your hospital trip. We're all so blimmin' busy. And there's always so much to do, you know, there's always a meal to make or someone to take to the toilet or something to do. You just don't stop in this house. So um, I just thought I'd have a catch up with the kids this morning. And that's what's quite nice about having this week off, to be honest. Um, it's just a nice catch up with the kids. So uh, how did you get on with the hospital in the hospital yesterday? Good. Yeah? How was it? How did your leg feel? Fine. Yeah? How's it feeling now? That. Is it? Is it feeling better? Yeah. So, are you getting any pain or anything like that? No? No pain at all? <laughs> After all that? Blimey, I still get pain in my foot. But then I suppose I'm nearly 50. Aren't I? So, um, but it, it went okay yesterday, yeah? And how are you feeling about how, putting weight back on your foot? Have you tried to put weight back on your foot? I've already done it. Did you do it this morning? Yeah. How did it go? Good. Yeah? So only 50% mind, that's what they said, wasn't it? Yeah, but my, um, I, was, I was allowed to, um, I was allowed to like walk around. Yeah. The house if I want to. Just putting 50% on, isn't it? 50-ish percent. Oh. Good. Is it better being up and about now? It does get boring, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Excellent. Thanks, Isabel. Yeah, so the main part of the video is going to be about Noah getting his hair cut, but it's so nice to see the businesses opening back up, especially around here in Lost Mouth. It's been so, it feels like it's been so long. Uh, and to see the barbers opening up and to see the other shops and that opening up is, is just fantastic. So um, after lunch today, it will be Noah going to the barbers. And then I think Zoe wants to have a chat about um, Nicola Sturgeon's announcement yesterday about the schools reopening back up. So we'll have a chat about that after. So yeah. Off we go. Right, that's us had lunch. Uh, we're now down in Lossy Mouth, just parked up to go and get some cash out of the post office. And then we're going to walk down and see Kazim, are we? Yeah? You looking forward to it? Good stuff. So we're going to go get his hair cut. Finally, let's get it off.
So we finally achieved the impossible. We've got Noah's haircut. Look um, at that. Got. Wait for it. Oh, I can't get the Thanks to Kazim from Lossy Barbers. He did an amazing job. Got. Oh no. Ten of them. And he gave us ten lollies, one for each of the kids. So uh, yeah, Kazim did an amazing job, didn't he? Uh -huh. Yeah, really good. Peaky Blinder. That kind of peaky blinder thing, I don't know, but uh, no, his hair's done now, so we're uh, we're now popping home. Look, I think this is all home. It's a lot of lollies. So we're just out on a usual daily walk, our afternoon walk, which we've uh, become accustomed to, which we love doing. And I have to say one thing: no, his hair looks better. Oh, doesn't it? Done it. It was desperately needing doing. I think they could. I think that Kazim could have done with a skip, to be oh, honest. She just for like the bin lorry. Just for. Um, it's alright. It's going the other way. Sorry. No, no, darling. Agnes doesn't like the bin lorry. The bin lorry's going the other way. She likes looking at them out the window. She was standing and waves at them out the window. And um, but she doesn't like lorries coming close to her. Lorries, motorbikes, like anything noisy, strong wind, anything like that. But uh, no, Kazim did an amazing job on Noah's hair. It's like a thousand times better. Times better. It changes him completely. Just, it makes him look older. It does make him look older. So that's the main job done for today, which was to get Noah's hair cut. Apologise in advance if we get wind noises, but we're out and about. So can't do much about that. And in one minute it's snowing again. It's sunny, <laughs> and it's still freezing. But it's nice though. It's a fresh cold it's just today. It's not just freezing bones. Coat. Um, I've got my big coat on. Partly because I've got a hole in my trousers, but... I know I suggested earlier earlier on in the video I was talking about uh, Nicola Sturgeon's announcement yesterday and the kids going back to school. Um, obviously the younger ones are back at school already. But the older ones haven't come back since before Christmas. No. Yeah, so the last time that they were at school was before, well, when they broke up for Christmas. The older ones? Um, Elizabeth's had like a little bit of time at school, isn't she? Yeah. But, she, I mean, she's... Which, in actual fact, are exams by another name. So what they did was told them all that the exams would be cancelled. So they've been concentrating on their coursework all this time, um, which has been hard enough trying to do it all themselves from home with maybe two weeks where she's been at school. She's probably had five days at school. Crossover. This year, probably. Um, and that's been in the last sort of three, four weeks. Well, she had two weeks where she had some... Um, day contact plane now she had a, a day contact for each subject um, and now they're saying that they've got to do um, these assessments in May and they haven't had any time to revise she's just stressed out because she's, she's struggling she's struggling with them. she's trying to do all these exams let the jet go It's just yeah, but it's just another thing to worry about as a parent, and I'm fed up with worrying about stuff about the school. It's just you feel like you're fighting a losing battle with everything that you have to fight for. Everything nowadays you have to fight for 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 everything. I mean, Erin's speech speech therapy. We fought for months to get her to actually be seen, and now she's been, you know, she's apparently too young for direct therapy. And it's just you just think, but well, now she's going to start school, and she she hasn't got the language skills that she needs to have. Yeah because of her hearing issues she's waiting for she's still waiting for her, um her operation which who knows you know i know everything's on hold because of cold covid but you just feel sometimes that you have to fight for everything and you even have to fight for a half decent education 
and it's it's just frustrating it's really frustrating as a parent and I, I suppose because you've got so many different levels and so many different grades that they're all in you always feel like you're fighting something with somebody it's just frustrating it really is but yeah they're going back to they go back to school so um i think so as i go going into the new high school yep I am actually building. looking forward to that, to, to see really how they get on. It looks amazing. Because one positive to take from everything, yeah, that school looks absolutely it top notch. It does look amazing, and I think, I'm hoping that it will make such a difference to them all. Yeah. Having so much more space. But I think and to the teachers as well. Yeah, I hope so. Because I, I feel everybody just make everybody I think the bit. teachers were getting frustrated with the old school as well, wouldn't they? So yes. maybe it's 50-50 and... It's really, the building is really light and airy, and, you know, the, the, the up, top floor where the art department is... is it's got all this light in it. It's a fantastic area for an art department. Um, so yeah, but they're not going back until the Wednesday because the Monday and Tuesday is moving in days for the teachers, I think. Yeah. So ours will be going back on the Wednesday, the 14th. But um, again, we haven't had it in formal writing. I'm just kind of guessing, but I think that's, I think that's when they're going back. That's the plan. So yeah, that's the plan. That's my little rant about <laughs> more school issues. I feel like I'm always ranting about issues, but. If you don't talk about the issues, they don't get talked about, just, do they? It's frustrating so, because you just go. think, if I miss something, or is this something that I should be, should I know about Campaigning this? Campaigning fighting about this, or should I not? Should I just be, you know, and it, it's just, it's just, you don't really know where you stand with things, do you? Elizabeth is like, a, she's a perfectionist. Isn't she? Yeah, so she is. Below the best is not good enough for her. So she puts so much pressure on herself already without all the outside pressures. She already puts huge pressures on herself. And um, she's just, just seems really unfair. They've had such a bad year with her not being able to go to school. And I mean, what if they had four months at school or something ridiculous? Yeah. Have a whole year. And but yeah, they're still expecting all the coursework, all the assessments. It just seems too much for me. It doesn't just doesn't add up. It just doesn't seem fair. But I don't really know where you go as a parent to even start fighting these things. Really, and they've done things for such short notice as well. Um, I don't know. I don't have the answers. Really. No. There you go, guys. It's another update from ours. It's been another busy day in the Sullivan family house. Glad we got Noah's haircut. That was the big tick in the box for today. So uh, please subscribe to our channel. Please hit the bell for notifications. Please drop us a like. Leave a comment. We really appreciate it. I say it every single time. We really appreciate the comments uh, and liking our videos and all that good stuff. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.